sermon lesson this morning comes from Hebrews chapter one. And I'm gonna read a little bit of two, 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 two? Chapter two as well. This is more than uh, we printed for you in your bulletin. One of the tricks with Hebrews is it's really hard to know exactly where to stop. Everything sort of blends together and I decided I wanted a few more verses. If you would, please stand with me for the reading of God's word. Long ago, at many times and in many ways, God spoke to our fathers by the prophets. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son, whom he appointed the heir of all things, through whom also he created the world. He is the radiance of the glory of God and the exact imprint of his nature, and he upholds the universe by the word of his power. After making purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, having become as much superior to the angels as the name he has inherited uh, is more excellent than theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say, you are my son, today I have begotten you. Or again, I will be 